Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 5 episode 19, the season 5 finale for Riverdale. This time the title of the episode is Riverdale R.I.P. Question mark. Uh, yes, we're back. We're ready. I, I honestly, I have no idea if I, I'm going to be able to edit all the episodes that I have, you know, behind, like the previous six episodes that I kind of had to catch up during this week. Uh, but if if I'm just posting this and you want to watch the rest of the episodes, you can go to my Patreon and you can watch the Uncut reaction there. Uh, but right now I am going to watch episode 19. I actually had to endure six episodes of just like randomness and Cheryl just being chaotic and just crazy in every single episode and like... I had to endure all of it, even Varchi for a, for a minute, just to get to this episode because I know this episode is going to be filled with Varchi, Betty, and Archie. Yes, this is what I'm here for. This is why I endure a musical episode on the previous episode and then, you know, everything else that I endure. I love it, the Pussycat episode, you know, Josie and the Pussycats. That was an amazing episode. But I'm ready, I'm ready for this one because I am here... Sad. I, I, I mean, it's kind of like crazy, but like, I'm only here at this precise moment for Barchi. That's all I care about. Because Shoni, they have destroyed Shoni. And like, there is like, <sighs> it is annoying me. But like, I am here for Barchi. And hopefully Shoni will go back, you know, to be together next season but right now i know that there's barchi on this episode and that's all i want to watch so i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys continue supporting for more please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell and you go to patreon to watch my full uncut extended version for this reaction and for every single reaction of season five i actually got caught up with every single episode so go and check it out link in the description down below and yeah i'm gonna watch episode 19 i mean it's going to i bet it's going to be good Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it, and without further ado, let's just begin with Season 5, Episode 19, the Season 5 finale for Riverdale. Here we go. Town and confronted the darkest monsters it's been a we year? ever faced. Ourselves. We survived. We survived I survived watching <laughs> and binging Riverdale. None of us. It's been a year... Since they return, you know, so since since the beginning of this season. But not necessarily a year since the previous episode, right? I got that right, right? Arrived. The almost passed. That doesn't oh, count. Reggie, no. We could open a casino here in town. That has nothing to do with one thing and the other. What are you what? talking about? Don't you remember how much fun we had? Archie and I... Oh, so uh, I was no like, more. bless, bless. He understand. Oh, um, don't sing. They're not about to sing, right? Oh, thank God. I thought they were going to sing. Well, glad to see you. Ah! <laughs> hello, hello, hello to Barchi and only to Barchi. I watched six episodes so I can watch this and understand everything, which I didn't really need. But anyways, my OCD made but like. Yes, and there's no music. I'm gonna stop. But yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back and just like witness the love that is marching. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> if Barchi sings, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Not the only one day drinking. Hello to you. Are you here? I don't know if you heard, but Veronica and I broke up. For good this time. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm happy. What happened? Action. No, oh, well, it looks like we're gonna be neighbors for the foreseeable future. <laughs> or start living together. Or start living together. Like, let's be real. I'll, we all will be okay with that. Aren't we gonna be okay with that? Aren't we gonna be okay with that? Bless. Okay. I need to, like, calm myself down, but I just can't. Okay. I'm okay permission to reopen the Riverdale FBI office because, by the way, we are now talking to Special Agent Betty Cooper officially. Yay! Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. When's the graduation? And... Sure. Oh! 
And here I found oh, the Oh, look at him! He looks so cute! He looks like he looks at her like she owns the moon and the stars and like... <sighs> that was so beautiful! That was so beautiful! <sighs> Because I needed this. Barchi hasn't talked in like the entirety of the previous six episodes. They, they share like one look on, on the Jesse and the Pussycats episode. And like I've been, I've been dying. But now we have them together. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. May I repeat that scene? Yes. This, um, we'll never end this episode. <laughs> I just want them to see. I just want to see them together again. Oh. I'm gonna take a picture! Oh, they're so cute! Oh, yeah. Phone is not recognizing my face because I'm happy right now! Okay. <laughs> they're, just, they're just so cute! They're just so cute and adorable and I love them! Veronica and I broke up. He's like, in case you wanna know, oh, God. I'm, I'm free! <laughs> what happened? Seven. Can I at least pay for the next round? Sure. <laughs> I love how flirty they are with each other! Here I find summoning me were over, Waldo. Mr. Jones. <laughs> I say get me that rewrite. Cameron, <laughs> it's good. Word. The she-wolf of Wall Street is coming back to take a bite out of Veronica. the Veronica. What? Veronica, here I am supporting you and then you come with this shit. Stop talking like that! <laughs> right now? I wouldn't do that. I'd be willing to hire the Black Widow of Wall Street. I know, they changed her nickname. To the Black Widow of River of Wall Street. I hate this people. I hate, I hate them. <laughs> she actually, you know what? This is so like common for for women who are you know who happen to you know go through what she went through. She's now the one to blame when she was in an abusive marriage. You deserve better than New York, but but she couldn't stay. Well, she's, of course she's gonna stay. What everyone's calling you now. <laughs> Look at Cheryl. And is that pretty? And now, are you sure you're not scared to be? <laughs> is she like exploiting this child? <laughs> Toiling away down here into your bread up faces for the day before we're late for the big surprise. You didn't do shit. <laughs> ah! Oh, honey! Look at them! Look at them! Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you I will remain calm. I won. Close. Keep him close. <laughs> what is this? You know I don't like surprises, right? Well, that really sucks. Because... Oh, oh yeah! Here's to Quantico's... He's so speech, cute. Speech! 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 <laughs> wow, okay, I was Look not at Archie! Look at Archie! <gasps> okay. I'm gonna calm down. We're gonna calm down. This is so cute. I could ever express. Ah, she looks at him. Stop it. I can like, continue. I'm like, that's so cute. And she like, she stops her like middle of her speech and then goes back to look at her. In front of Veronica Salad. We love this. Thank you. I'm so you. sorry. It's been a really good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. But I'm sure you're excited to get back to your old life. <laughs> She's like, York, uh, when do you leave? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be petty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been waiting for Bart, okay? No, we'll miss you. Right? She's like, can I pack Should your bags? <laughs> head back to the diner? I actually asked. To Definitely go for some Italian right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cute. That is extremely cute. That is extremely cute. I'm trying to. Are they gonna Why, take? Do you have something in mind, Frank? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Horny much? Okay. Garage. Oh, Probably. Man, I was just starting to love the smell of mold <laughs> and turpentine. <laughs> you know, this is up. Oh, we're moving on. You and me. Okay. Cohabitating. <laughs> do you have to call it like that? It's Dolores. Oh no. Hiram did this, didn't he? Or her dad? Her legacy! Oh my god, this is so freaking sad. Give me Barchi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Who else would set fire to Pops and slash our truck's tires before we can get to him? 
her and lodge. This bitch. Oh! I don't remember ordering room service. Oh, you're about to get your ass kicked. Oh, yes. You are under. What are the crimes? Oh, for doing that to Pop. Because you believe that is what, it, what happened. Woodward and Bernstein. See more to this crime, or literally any other crime at this point. And I love the Barches working together to save Riverdale. I love this. I love this song. Be looking for shady contracts. Oh, we got him. Kind of. The sooner you tell us who paid you, the sooner it'll be done. Okay, Tony. Oh, you're gonna get what you deserve. Thanks, the radio. Oh. <laughs> okay, Tony. Why don't you guys turn on the lights? Mind. He thinks this is the wild, wild west. Oh, Let me take yeah. this paperwork back with me to the FBI office. We'll see if this is even legal, and if it isn't, we'll start building a case against him. That's good. That's good. Archie. You don't Yet need. again, I find myself apologizing for my father's actions. You don't need to apologize. Yeah, we don't want an apology. Yeah. We want justice. Serpent justice. Why? We'll take care of him. No offense, Veronica, but I don't think you're going to be willing to do what needs to be done. Oh, they want him. They want to kill yes, him? Will. Our way. Fair enough. Is that mean, does that mean killing him? Because I totally support this. Right. <laughs> Something dress fitting. I'll call Tom. Tell him to take a long lunch. <gasps> For fuck's sakes! Reggie! What's up, Reggie? We're kind of in the middle of something. Did he need it to be this dramatic and not actually wear an umbrella? <laughs> okay, Reggie. Pretty Betty. Oh no. Is it trash bag? Killer? It's you. What do you want? To congratulate you on graduation. Oh. Can't make that promise. Oh my god. Oh. Betty. Betty. This is so fucking creepy. Hello? Oh my god. Hello? It's me. <laughs> that was so creepy. Hiram's fish wrapper. Oh, what's it say? It's oh, he's so cute. Out with the old. But a person can only be pushed so far. Very true. Oh, look at that! Cause in trouble! Go for it! <laughs> okay! I'm down for this! <laughs> You ready, Daddy? Oh my god. Oh, what is it? <laughs> A public <laughs> What is what is Cheryl where why she have why does she have her bow? <laughs> oh this show. Execution? What are you my ex So you're telling me that <laughs> you're telling me <laughs> that they call Cheryl. Hey Cheryl, we're gonna exile <laughs> We were getting so hired and she said no say no more <laughs> and grab her hood and her ball <laughs> I hate this show so much sometimes <laughs> Oh the things I do for Barchi and my love for them Carry on Long time You're turning against your own blood like this Mia I blame Archie <laughs> This is Shut his up. influence Don't We broke up and we're happy about it. Tick tock. <laughs> if they start singing Kesha right now. <laughs> Tick tock, bitch. Move. Move. I really hope this is the end for Hiram. I do not want to see him ever again. <laughs> Look at Cheryl is so extra. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. Yes, true. Go. To new beginnings. Be stars. To new beginnings. Yeah. 
I really hope you find happiness. I just drove past the town hall. I know who I would vote for. Who? You. Tony! Tony. Oh, yes! Would you do it? What? Mayor? I mean, yeah? Archie, I can't. Why not? I don't have the bandwidth. I promise. Okay, I thought it was a great idea for Tony to be the mayor of Riverdale. If it's not Tony, then Archie. Please don't put Veronica. Because I just think that Veronica really needs to do her own thing, you know? And I'll follow into her father's footsteps. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Miss Blossom? Miss Blossom? <gasps> Look what I found. Did you carry it? Skeletons. They're not human. I was wondering if they'd ever be found. <laughs> the Forgotten. The, the Forgotten? forgotten. We should put her in a home by now. <laughs> the year was 1890. Thornhill oh. still stood a and had no intention of taking one. Oh, she was Rachel a lesbian as well. Abigail and the girls in her care from kiss. They're accusing her of being a witch? <laughs> what is this? Fear Street? Oh, they had it in the grove surrounding Thorn Hill. Oh my god! So called compatriots Archibald oh. Andrews, Jedediah Jones, <laughs> Look at him. and Beatrice Cooper. Okay, but that is like in. With her that happened like 200 years ago. What were we doing? The dying words she cursed written in Abigail's journal. There's Would a you journal. Like to read it, child. I shouldn't have called you. You know what we should do? What you know what we should do? We should put Nana on a home. <laughs> Cuz we're like okay, so this is like 200 years ago. Just like get rid of the the, the skeletons. Like how does this change anything? <laughs> like the only interesting part is that Abigail was thought to be a witch and curse someone, but like other than that it feels like it's free fear street. Like She needs to, like, Cheryl needs to get rid of her crazy ass family. Oh, it wasn't my intention. On the condition that you let me come back to Pops and work with you. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> Grandpa, I would love that. That is so sweet. You know, could propose a Tabitha has the best heart. The system that works. And Those who committed Riverdale's original <laughs> sin debating its future. Oh, well, shut up. I refuse to allow you four to perpetuate any further cycles of violence and bloodshed. They're like, is she high? Cheryl, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> so my ancestors were involved. Now. So bye. Can't be said for your through town estate. Cheryl, what we need is to probably put you in like an institution or something, cause like, like they are trying to actually reestablish Riverdale, and you're like, your ancestors, two hundred plus years ago, did this. I need an apology from you guys that actually didn't even knew about this story until 10 minutes ago. Please, Cheryl. Well, Cheryl, please, this is- Those corpses. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, For literally decades, no one. trees have been nourished. See you at the meeting. And I pray you do the right thing. Honestly, okay. I, 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 right. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I love Cheryl. I think Madeline does a lot with what they give her but like now she's into this <sighs> like the fact that she was paying for her ancestor's sins was all her doing no one asked her to do that literally no one so what our families and neighbors are going to decide on us every step of the way Pots. yeah i've heard enough and tap at the tape tony topaz Yes! Alice Smith. And my Uncle Frank. Yes! I see. I have no jurisdiction over it or its blessed inhabitants. Cheryl. So you're taking, like, you're doing, like, you're gonna be the queen of the north. Like, the north is not part of the king. Cheryl. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Nay, cousin! Riverdale is officially back on the map. Yes! This is so good! Because we started with nothing, you know? A ghost town. You did this, Archie. Okay. 
See you next month. I think that that's wonderful, right? It can't happen just overnight. Hello! That is Betty! Oh. Oh. Riverdale lives to fight another day. <laughs> come in, come in. Nice job, Arch. Cheryl. Should we be worried? Yeah, but about her mental health, actually. Not about anything else. But, like, can we talk about you guys? Let's forget about Cheryl for a minute. Amara, you doing later tonight? Woo! How did it go? Look at his smile! Look at his smile! He is... He is in the love. <laughs> I loved it. I'm gonna repeat that scene. Hold on, Nana. I'm so done with you. <laughs> It's so cute. Hey. I love that it's Betty who like <laughs> recognizes nice this is his we'll doing. Sister. What are you doing? Ay oh, Dios mío. It's only See, fitting. I told you Brita should be here. It is not a good place to be. That these words spoken at the end. Archibald Andrews, Jedediah Jones, and Beatrice Cooper. I repudiate you with my to torment and destroy you. And destroy you! Yeah, well, she was being born alive, so people say crazy shit. <laughs> Brita's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Is that Satan? <laughs> Nan is like, <laughs> I didn't know that this was gonna happen, but I actually did. <laughs> What the fuck, man? This year, Arch. Yeah, true. Ah, look at that! <laughs> Stop! 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 They're so, they are so beautiful! They are so beautiful! I, I love this! I love this! <sighs> Them looking at each other like they are the only ones there! They're so beautiful. Oh, now we have a curse. Oh, what the fuck? That's bizarre. All right. We can't keep her single for a single episode. Curse. <laughs> <laughs> what are they laughing at? <laughs> I love it. I don't know what they're laughing at, but I love seeing them so happy. Oh, this is everything I wanted. <laughs> yes. I. I want to try again. Us. Not as friends with benefits, but <laughs> for real. Oh yes! Oh, look at you. <laughs> and can we try again? Yes, yes, we yes. Can. <laughs> I want to be with you too, Arch. Ah, this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at her. Oh, look at them being so pretty. Look at them. <laughs> Is content. Ah! <laughs> it's so beautiful. <sighs> it's just that everything that I want. Okay, there's more. There's more. Here you go. Look at you. You look so in love. Look at you. Look at them. Look at his. Look at that dork's face! Like he's so in love! They are so in love! They are so in love! They are so in love! I love this! I love this! Look at that! There's a bomb? Who the fuck put a bomb? Who, who, who am I going to fight? They were about to bang and they put a bomb? You fucking bitch! You fucking bitch! If you hurt Barchi! <laughs> did he just hurt Barchi? Did, did he just. Did he just hurt Barchi? Like the, the way I hate that, that man. The way I hate that man. Did he just hurt 
my Barchi. I've been waiting for, for, for six episodes, seven with this, to f see them finally happen? Only for them to get blown up? What, what kind of crap is this? I, I fucking hate it. Well, okay, but before the blowing up, because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna die. It's okay. They, like, Betty is amazing at disarming bombs. Do you remember that? And she seems to have a lot of hairpins, so we're, we're cool. We're cool. And, like, Archie fought a bear once. You know, that's not gonna kill him. No, 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 no. But, like, I wanna, I wanna see them. I wanna see them. I, I don't wanna see you guys, but, like, okay. Archie! <laughs> oh, I can't even just laugh at <laughs> I wonder what you're laughing at. Why can he be so nervous? Why can he be like, like you, you, you have to understand something here. Is that when it was him and Veronica, it was Veronica always calling the shots. Always Veronica, the one where we should do this, we should. Uh, granted, he was like. We're gonna give ourselves a pause. Every time it's about a breakup or something, he has he does the, the thing, you know? But like looking at him, looking at her, like saying that he wants to go all in. This is just This is the best. I I wanna try again. We can. They finally I wanna be with you too, Arch. Let's just remember that they know each other. <laughs> Sounds like they are like babies. Like how pretty is this? How pretty are they? They look at each other like they are. Yeah, that was weird. Why did they need to do that? Yeah. I really hope you die. Like, seriously, like, Archie gets together, they get blown up. Nah, they're, they're gonna be okay. I mean, probably not the house, but in general, I think they will be okay. <laughs> that was so pretty. <gasps> okay, guys, so that was the end of season five, episode 19, the season five finale for Riverdale and the beginning. Of Barchi, like for real, all in now, baby, baby. We we're in the end game era, yes. And okay, they got blown up, but like, who is like, who is going to believe that they are actually going to kill them or hurt them more than they already hurt them this season? It's not happening. Probably the house is gonna get blown up, but that's just gonna make them move in together or something. Like I am, I'm staying positive. Okay, I'm staying positive for Barchi because they're the only reason why I put like with how many like seven hours I think of Riverdale content in the last week has been a lot. Okay, but oh, I loved it. I loved it. Barchi, they were just. Amazing, and like I feel like they are the this town's, you know, ground base. Like you know, for like they represent everything that Riverdale is about. You know, the town. You know, justice and hard work and just like I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but like they're so cute and like I'm so happy. Out of all the things that the writers could listen us about and could like actually, you know, do what the fans want is having Barchi together because literally no one asked for fangs and Tony. Like what the hell, man? But like it's okay. I'm still holding hope for Shoni. I think that it will happen. It's just my girl Cheryl needs to grow up, you know. So we're speaking into the, you know, maybe they will listen to us this time again. You know, because we got, we actually got Barchi. Like, how amazing is it? Like, now there's not just a hookup. They're not just friends with benefits. Archie Andrews told Betty Cooper that he wants to go all in. Like, how beautiful is that? How amazing is that? The only thing I don't need now is that Alice and Frank start dating because it's going to be like their family and their family. Like, you know, the whole thing with Jughead and, like, Betty again. Please. Although he's his uncle. Yes, I get it. But, but like, please. Please. <laughs> but anyways, this was just amazing. It was a really good episode. Because of Barchi. Because the other things with Cheryl, I just... 
<sighs> I wonder why do they hate Cheryl this much? I wonder why. Because honestly, she, it's like, I don't know. I, I, I did have seen the picture of, I think it was Madeline and the chick who plays Sabrina together on set because I think they're shooting season six, I think, or I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I just saw the picture. So, um, so we're going into the witchy thing, which is like, I don't need witchy stuff on Riverdale. Like we already have enough with the leaving, you know? So for us to go into curses and Satan and everything that the chilling adventures of Sabrina dealt with, I really don't need it. I didn't ask for it. I need growth for Cheryl. You know, I don't, f and I don't feel that this witchy crap is going to hold on because literally the four of them, you know, um, Archie, Archie, Betty, Veronica, and Jughead, where they're just like, you want an official apology for something that happened 200 years ago? And she's like, yeah, I atone for my ancestor's sin sins, like, because she is staying in her house and remained there and blah, blah, blah. And granted, she always helps every time someone needs of her, you know, but like, they were actually discussing like real matters. And she's like, I'll, like, honestly, and like, the fact that Nana Blossom every season remembers something else about her, her ancestors. And she's like, oh my God, Cheryl, you have to follow through. Like, I'm like, I love the, I love Nana Blossom, but like, put her in a home, okay? Because, like, she's driving my girl nuts, okay? She just, and now Brita is there as well. Like, we needed more crazy people inside that house. Like, no, I don't want that. And like, she's following Cheryl around, and I'm like, Tony, you made a huge mistake. Relocate this kid. Like, seriously, that Thornhill, whatever the place is named... Just take her out of there because it's not a good place for her to be because and now is there witchy stuff, you know, and I'm not really looking forward for that because I just feel like they're cheating on Cheryl's character. I just feel like she needs to grow and they don't do that. And I don't think that with a witch storyline is going to help because like then imagine like Tony doing some serious work. She wants to like get the serpents, which is like, I'm like, okay. But like she wants the serpents back. Let's remember that the serpents are a gang, you know? So, but she wants them back and like they will be in like good, like honorable jobs and they won't do, you know, I'm going to guess they won't do any criminal activity and things like that. So you know, she has this thing. She has a baby now. She's a mom, you know, and she's a, a social worker. You know, she works at the school. Like, she's so mature. And yet Cheryl is still like, I need the, I need you guys to apologize for what your ancestor did to my, I don't know who, like aunt, great grand aunt, aunt or whatever, you know, but I need you guys to apologize. And I'm like, Cheryl. Wait, can you can she wake the fuck up? Like really? Because it's just insane what she's asking, you know. They are literally every, and like I love that everyone after she left they were like, okay, whatever. And like they started voting and everybody voted like her, her speech and everything she said had no impact on what was happening there. Just as her storyline has no impact on Riverdale. It's just there to like fill you know the uh the 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 time on the show is just like it's just nonsense after nonsense and then like now she's like okay you remember when i was a minister for the entire season well, i'm gonna forget about that now i'm gonna open a, an orphanage or something like that for trouble kids which is good but like she's doing it because her ancestors like her reasonings are just like you know not there really so Really, I really hope they take care of Cheryl a little bit better next season. Like, just give her an ounce of growth. I think, you know, a few dollars, just put in a few work, you know, a little work on her her script. And actually, you know, help her grow, you know, help her cut ties with her past in kind of in the way that you did with Veronica on this episode. Because honestly, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired of hearing her. I'm really, really tired of hearing her. Anyways, what else happened on the episode? Oh, Veronica, like I said. 
you know, she is... What did Veronica do? Oh, yeah, finally. I thought for a second, I thought, oh my gosh, she's going to kill her dad. I did not want that for Veronica, you know? And then she didn't, and but she played this uh, thing, you know? She has proof, and in a hour, she was going to send it to the FBI, so he was going to be a wanted man for murder, you know? Uh, and I'm glad that they finally grabbed Haram by the balls, but I was really hoping for us to, like, really cut it out completely and for us to not ever see Hiram again. But it looks like he might return, and I don't like that because I'm tired of Hiram. I'm glad that this episode did not, like, this half of the season, you know, the, these last few episodes, they not had a lot of Hiram in it. But what we had, it was like, just to cut it off. Like, just, 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 just go for it, you know, kill him. You know, and what will that, you know, how will that change Veronica? And like, I will be down for that. But no, he drives off while he explodes Barchi. Like the disrespect this man. Ugh. Anyways. So, but I liked the fact that they didn't, that Veronica didn't actually do it. I'm actually happy about that because I was a little bit worried. But like, how is it that, like, I will wonder what the call was for for Veronica to be like, Hey, Cheryl. Yeah, girl. So we're going to exile my dad, be here at the sign by like 8 p.m. And then how that process into Cheryl saying, okay, I'm going to put my my bow in my cape and like just take my bow and arrow. Like, how did that happen in her brain? I, I Because I understand the others having like a, like a bad, you know, even Betty holding her gun. She holds a gun and he's a murderer. So that, that clicks, you know. Um, I think that, I think that Frank was the one with the bad, right? But for Cheryl to be like with her bow and arrow, like, my... <laughs> It's just like, let's just do the one crazy thing and let's do this. Like, even for Tabitha, Tabitha was like this. Holding her to her thing. Very threatening. She looked very... I was really scared. <laughs> but Tabitha is adorable, okay? So I could, like... I could go on with that because I, I love Tabitha, okay? I think she's... She is very much the representation of a strong woman, you know? Same with Tony, you know? But she is that. She is going against her family working on her family's legacy with her grandpa. She has the best heart. She's truly the, you know, she's truly the one who will follow her grand grandpa footsteps. And like, I know that makes me feel so proud. And I love her relationship with Jughead. I love it. Like, I know the previous episode I was bitching about because I didn't like the singing. I just, I didn't. But like, the relationship is so cute. And like, I love that, that, that a Tabitha inspires that of Jughead, of pulling his life together. That is so cute. And I, I love it. I love it. I am in love with Tabitha and Jughead. And then them, you know, actually being criminals together. Bitch, I'm here for it. Same way I'm here with Barchi actually breaking into doors and like Betty reading someone's rights and like... A I'm all for it. You know, I'm all for it. Um, who I'm not really that... In for it is Reggie and and Veronica. Why? Because I th I think that Veronica should stay single for like longer than a minute. Like literally, she broke up with Archie on the previous episode. I know that some time has passed, but this episode she's back again on her relationship. Granted, the same thing happened with with Archie, but Archie didn't seem to care that much about Veronica. Let's be real. You know, and yes, I might be biased, yes, because I love Barchi and I needed them to happen. That's the only reason why I'm watching this show, you know. But the thing is that um, I do want Veronica to be single for a minute. But for the love of God, I think she can make it, you know. But no, now she's with Reggie. Again, because they, they happened before. And I'm like, okay, I don't, I, I don't really care about it that much. And also because they they talk to the four horsemen of the apocalypse. No, I'm just kidding. The four uh, councils of Riverdale. And they were like, you know what? First of all, we need to paint some streets. Cover some holes, you know, on the pavement. 
like some re realistic thing and they were talking about making Riverdale the next Atlantic City and like it's a, it's amazing you know and Riverdale granted needs the income of a flourishing business you know let's be real that will bring in a lot of money a lot of work for the people there you know that will be amazing but i think that at the end she actually did it behind their backs which i'm not cool with that don't follow your father's footsteps for the love of god veronica for a minute i thought they were gonna pick veronica as a mayor and i was like no the last thing riverdale needs is the black widow of wall street as the mayor so no thank you very much go away so Thankfully, they didn't make her the mayor, okay? I will be down for Tony to be the mayor, though. But I'm glad that she's part of the council, you know? I think that she will put some sense onto whatever thing they're gonna do, you know? And I, I love that Tabitha, an amazing, gorgeous black woman, and Tony, they're both there. Like, I love this. I love it. I love it. Two powerful black women just doing her their thing and being powerful and amazing and like yes yes i loved it <laughs> i'm so happy for barchi though like my excitement my happiness right now is literally only for barchi i love them i love them do i believe that they got blown up no betty knows how to disarm a bomb you know although granted it did explode we did see like smoke coming out so Maybe Betty didn't disarm it, but they maybe jumped out of the window and landed perfectly on their feet. Let's be real. Like, honestly, it, they will, it will be so mean if you give me Barchi and then explode them. I, I, I will actually kill people if that happens. But no, they, they're probably going to be... They're not even going to be hurt. Like, Archie fought a bear and she, he doesn't even have his scars anymore. So... A bomb? A bomb is not gonna stop Barchi. Let's be real. It's not gonna stop Barchi, okay? Anyways, I love it this episode. I love that. And you know what I love the most? Is that I can sit here and say that we got Barchi, but this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of Barchi. Because both Archie Andrews and Betty Cooper are all in, baby. End game. End game. End game, end game. Like, let's be real. My neighbors are gonna kill me because it's past midnight. But like, end game. That is end game material right there, and I love it because the potential in the <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Will I be here on season six? Yes, I will. Will I suffer through another musical episode for Barchi? Yes, I will, because I love Barchi with all my heart. Okay, it's past midnight. I'm not joking. It's past midnight. I don't know if you can see. Okay, there. It's past midnight. Here I am, still reacting because I just love Barchi so much. And I just, I couldn't just, just leave it behind. I couldn't just watch just this episode. Because I needed everything to fully understand where the characters are right now. And how much I love that they are, they found their way back to each other. Like, it's the so amazing. It's so amazing. <sighs> I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy I can go to bed tonight and, like, sleep happy because I have Barchi back. And I will be back for season six because I need every... I need to consume every single second of Barchi. Every single second of Barchi because, like, this is the beginning. This is only the beginning. We're gonna get our Barchi endgame. Oh, my God. This is so good. Honey, we're thriving now. No more crops, guys. We're gonna get Barchi. We're gonna get Barchi. Next season is going to be amazing. It's going to be the best season of Riverdale. I have they been renewed for like an eighth season because I will watch Barchi for like forever. Literally. Literally. We love this. Anyways, <laughs> that's it. I'm not gonna keep rambling even though I want to. But I should go to bed and like my my throat is hurting so bad right now. But I do not care. It's just that I am so happy for Barchi and like I am here for them and like they speak to my soul and like they're so beautiful and so gorgeous and like they deserve each other and like they're gonna be neighbor oh well minus one house. Well Archie can move in. Probably they her house, like uh Betty's house also was going to be shattered, probably. 
right? Because it's right there next to the explosion. I don't know, they can find themselves a new apartment and live together and be happily ever after. <laughs> I'm speaking to the gods, you know? It will happen. Like, it's the beginning. The beginning of our, of Barchi. We're here for it. We deserve this. I deserve this. Af after watching the, the musical episodes and, like, all these seven episodes during a single week. I deserve this. I deserve Barchi. We deserve Barchi. Yes. Whew. Anyways, that said... I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys continue to support me for more. I will be here for season six, so stay tuned for that. As soon as there is a new trailer, like I normally don't react to trailers, but catch me reacting to the trailer because I want to know what, what happens with Barchi. Because I need my Barchi content, okay? There are a few shows that I just can't help myself. This is going to be one. I can't believe that Riverdale is back to being one of my favorite shows because of Barchi. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a little thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon to watch the extended version. Continue supporting for more. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And thank you to everyone who tweeted at me that I needed to do this for Barchi. Thank you so much. You guys are angels, truly. Um, I know I didn't talk about Tony and Fangs because they do not exist for me. I really hope that they right their wrongs next season and we like kindly break them apart because as cute as it might look I just I want Shoni again but with a more mature Cheryl and with an independent Tony that is not just Cheryl's girlfriend that needs to happen next season I'm projecting that that will happen next season so that's why I'm not gonna spend my time talking about Tony and Banks I'm so sorry they have chemistry yes but like Shoni forever okay that's it hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys next time next season for more Barchi. We're here in Barchdale. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.